the craziest reveal actually wasn't that crazy because obviously there was connections with Sira and Freya. One of the like the most intuitive theory was like, could Seer just be Freya? Is Freya Seer? You know, that was already established. But the way that it was revealed and like what it really meant, right? In the specific details about Horn and Freya, they're interchangeably switching spots to make us kind of unaware of what's really happening. They got us good. And my mind just broke when I realized that Freya, not Hestia, not any other goddess, right? Hestia is already, you know, flipping burgers and doing dishes. Haha, <laughs> it's funny because Hestia personality trait makes sense. But Freya? Someone like Freya flipping fucking burgers just to get close to Belle for five fucking seasons is utterly mind-blowing. And oh my god, I respect it. I respect the hustle. Freya's saying I ain't playing fair anymore. Nah, I'm tired of playing Seer. I'ma just fucking brute force this shit. Who knows what's gonna happen? Let's begin today's reaction. Role-playing. <laughs> Role-playing. Just... Freya just... Role-playing. <laughs> like, just saying this as like a specific terminology to explain what she was doing in a serious way is still fucking hilarious to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was Freya. Yeah. They can share the consciousness. They got us good, man. I wonder if Mamma Mia knew. What will other people say? You know? Like Ryu as well. Because like Ryu was very important to Freya. Freya mentioned that Ryu was very important to her because of the bonds they were kind of making as she was playing Seer. And the really sad thing is how all the tavern girls got utterly brutalized thinking that they were trying to protect Seer, but she got fucked. They got fucked up for pretty much no reason. But I think the most important part of that skirmish was Anya, right? The other cat girl, last name Vana, big brother, the cat boy in front of her family, right? There's some setup there happening. Yeah. She got good at the 9 to 5. The other tavern girls. Ryu. Ryu. She loved them all. Bell. Translucent soul. Isn't this basically Regulus finding Amelia and saying, Amelia, are you a virgin? Like the purity. Freya is Regulus. Bell is Amelia. And Freya is basically saying, Bell, are you a virgin? I don't even know what a virgin means. Oh, perfect. You're even more ignorant and naive and pure. Perfect. That's why she could fucking flip the burgers for fucking five seasons straight, bro. <laughs> Bell, his translucent soul, the purity, my honor, my pride. I don't give a fuck. I'm a flip fucking burgers for five fucking seasons for him. This is amazing. Like, Freya, like, plot twist, the final, like, explanation of, like, her role in the story and, like, how she was, like, you know, like, why she's obsessed with Belle and, like, who Seer is. This is better than I could have ever imagined due to the comedic undertones of, you know, just imagining Freya again, just flipping burgers, working a fucking job. That's right. She doesn't exist. She doesn't. She never existed. She don't exist, man. That's a hefty injury. Oh. Can't even let Ice touch him. Very, very, very sad outcome. I think that we should be tending to her right now. Isn't she the one, you know, Anya, Vana, stuff like that? And make note that we didn't even get to see Belle actually reject Seer. He said, I'm sorry, and then off screen, bro. Invasion. <laughs> Freya family invasion. Oh, fuck. This is a crazy title for today's episode, huh? That's right. Because as far as Bell knows, he knows that Horn was in disguise as Seer. But he still thinks that this real Seer exists and it's not Freya. So this is still going to be a shock to when he realizes. He said, I'm sorry, and then, you know, rejection. I wonder 
when Ryu heard that, there was a part of her, even though she's saying, but why? But instead saying, fuck yes, I still have a chance. <laughs> Well, no. Rejecting someone's feelings because you don't reciprocate them authentically is not a bad thing. Bell shouldn't just be accepting people's feelings and leading them on. That's wrong. Ice. It's not Ryu. There it is. It's GG for you too, Ryu. Yeah, this pretty much is an indirect rejection. It really is. Well, you never know. Like, Seer never existed, but Freya could still play Seer and work at the tavern and shit. Just for fun. I don't think she would, but like... You know, it's not like if she's totally gone, it's kind of still there in a weird way. Hey, it's the squad. Anya man, Anya Vana. Mamma mia. Yo, if today's episode is, 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 is it's an invasion, Freya family invasion. I'm not sure if that family is invading us, but what if we're invading the Freya family HQ? If so, bro, I wish that Mamma Mia would like lead the charge. I want Mamma Mia to actually get involved in fight because I know she can fight. She's got level five or six something, right? She's fucking jacked. I want her to be in the invasion squad if we're actually doing the invading. <laughs> Alright, our squad's doing some snooping around. Hestia, what's up? Yup, true. It's Horn and Freya. Yup. It was, but that's pretty much it, right? This has always been Freya, right? The one at the tavern has always been Freya, and during other situations, Horn would substitute in, right? Yeah, this is all Freya, bro. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. Hello? He's just showing up? But here's the thing. Anytime you see Freya, you can't be convinced that it's actually Freya. This could actually be Horn right now. You know what I'm saying? It's most likely Freya, but it could be Horn. So, what does she mean by this? The eternal flames of the hearth that you preside over is more valuable than any sort of gold. Is, is she basically saying Bell is that metaphor? Or is this something different? What, what does that mean? Because Hestia and that, like, Flame of the Earth is not supposed to be, like, uh, Greek mythology and shit, but I'm not really sure, like, a specific tangible thing what she's talking about, right? Is there some kind of power that she has that we've never seen before? Like, what's Freya really talking about? I know that she's, like, the goddess of Earth, hearth or Earth, right? Hestia, but, like, what is that? No, I know she's the goddess of that, but, like, what really is it? What's her power? What's her authority? What is it that Freya really fears? Because this sounds very abstract. Okay. When you say children, okay? When you say he's one of my precious, you can't, you can't go after your children like that, Hestia. Okay? That's bad. No. The way that you thirst over Bell, that's very bad, okay? And yeah, I think that the, it's basically like, Two opposites right now, right? Hestia and Freya. Freya kind of glazing Hestia's, you know, flame of the hearth and all that shit. The purity that kind of exists in Hestia that doesn't really exist in Freya. So. Oh shit, they're invading. Alright, Freya family is the one doing the invading. Mikoto, what's going on? Ooh. Ambushed. They're picking off one by one. Mm, 
Aisha and her translucent quote unquote pants that shows her panties, Aisha peak. <laughs> Yo, these dudes are strong though. These little dudes are so strong. Too late. Dude, they're so strong. <laughs> you just fucking pretty much curb stomped Haruhime? Bruh. Yeah, back in season two. This scene, I remember. They were kind of beefing there. This is not even a fight. What? The spear just showed up out of fucking nowhere. It just appeared. Okay. I guess uh, more brethren like you, they're like the same like race, kind of like dwarven kind of people, right? But like, ain't no way Lily that just hit level 2 can keep up. There's no fucking way. If Aisha can't do it, you expect Lily to be able to fucking fight? Oh god. Yeah, the Palums or some shit, the short people. Yo! Otara's... Code name, his title is The King? Really? The f I mean, Bell is Rabbit's Foot. <laughs> this dude is The King? What the fuck? <laughs> no consent, Freight is taken. Just palming our face like a basketball. Mamma Mia, where are you? Only one person can save us right now. It's Mamma Mia. Absolute. Oh, she's seeing it. Hermes' people. Hermes' uh, secretary. She saw it. Things are looking pretty fucking bad, though. <laughs> Waga. Oh, he's just yapping. Child on child fight. It's never. The battle wasn't even a battle. It was a fucking massacre. They collected the weapons. Holy shit. But he's my kid. You can't just kidnap. She, she did say that. Yeah, she the one flipping burgers. Yes, that's exactly that. <laughs> she got rejected. Her ego took a hit. She's like, fuck it. I'm tired of role playing. I'm just going to take what's mine by force. Giga Chad, yes. Oh, shit. You just do that? Rescind your vow? I thought that once you're like part of like a family, it's like a permanent thing, but there's a way to kind of like cancel that contract? Conversion. Now, Mikoto and like, you know, like Wealth, Lily, all of them, technically they're all, everyone is from different families too, right? Did they convert? They converted, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen this mechanic before. She gonna fucking set us, bro. She gonna fucking slap Hestia and just push her down. The Not even push, bro. Fucking sidestep down the fucking stairs like in season two. Oh, fuck. I believe her, bro. She's done it before. I've seen it. Oh, Hermes. What did he just say? There's nothing more terrifying than the carnage of a goddess in the warpath. Yeah, goddess of love on her warpath. Yo, low-key, Hermes, like, has so much aura. I love Hermes. Because, like, he's usually treated as this goofy, casual, nonchalant guy. You know, haha, -ha, he's being stepped on by, uh, you know, everybody else. You know, no one's taking it seriously. But then, there's moments when he's just, like, so epic. He just exudes so much aura because of that contrast of what he usually is and what he is now. Hermes! Yo, Hestia. Yep. 
No, let him cook. Let him cook. My fucking lawyer, bro. He knows the fine prince. We have some time. You can take Bell for now, but we can plan ahead and try to save Bell before the conversion happens. One year. That really puts into perspective of the timeline. This anime has been airing for almost a fucking decade. <laughs> it hasn't even been a year in this true timeline. It's been a couple months, right? Like, this is crazy. No, 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 let him cook. No, I think the compromise is wonderful. This is better than nothing. Better than Freya just forcing everything. We've bought some time now to cook. <laughs> Giga Chat Hermes. Dude, he's so cool. Proactive steps. That's kind of worrisome. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, Bell is also like Hermes' lottery ticket of being the last hero that he challenged like Zeus with or some shit back in season two. He was, he was like talking to Zeus or some shit, right? Now, maybe other families will definitely help out. I could, I could definitely see, you know, Ice and them helping out. Like everybody. I bet they would all rally together in like a coalition against Freya. I don't know about that. That's ominous. What, what, what? You can just appear out of thin air like that? What, what was that? Wait, wait. Is that her mask power? I don't know. She's not invisible. Did she just teleport? Someone's in the guild. They're all controlled right now. Proactive measures. What's happening? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A speech is coming. Divinity? Innate ability. Can someone explain to me what the innate ability is? Divinity. This is season one content again that's just been wiped out of my fucking memories. Hestia has something to do with what? What's the uh, divinity, uh, the innate ability? Have we seen it? Season one? How she makes contracts with Bell? How Bell is able to. Do we not even know it actually? I have no clue. It's like Bell's special thing is like leveling up fast. But. I think Hestia's shit, I think, is relating to what Freya was talking to before, right? The, uh, the dialogue of, like, your passion, the flames, the hurt, is something that I, you know, I love. I, I think it's something like that, right? Right now, right now, right here. She'll go to any length for her one and only Ord. Ord mentioned again. I don't... Um, that was like the key word where right now as an anime only, that definition means like a hero just for themselves is what quote unquote Seer was saying on the hero's bridge, right? Even forfeiting the rule that she imposed on herself. The rule. Holy shit. Things are about to pop off, bro. This is super dangerous. It's looking like Freya is literally about to brainwash everybody. That's a note to give to Hermes so that when he receives it, when there's time, then he can realize what's going on, right? It's looking like everyone is about to get brainwashed. She's the only one that can counter Freya. There we go. Speech time. Yeah, you sent her. She's not wrong about that. Ishtar was fucking bumbling fool by the end of her arc. And yes, by the time that Freya got to her, she definitely was lost all elegance and all that aura. Based. I'm on the verge. Hmm. Bell. It's sounding like Fire Speech. She's very self aware of her current stature as a goddess. She's looking pretty bad, making the comparison to Ishtar. I know that I'm low key falling up, but I don't care. I honestly don't give a fuck. I'm doubling down. All I want is Bell. No 
away. Hey, 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 no fucking way. What do you mean that was the file? You are also the secrets out, right? Everyone's looking at Freya. And if Freya has solved the seer, they're going to see the shape-shifting. I don't know what's going on, but the file? What do you mean the file? Yo, careful choice of wording. She's charming us all, right? Everyone's going to get charmed and brainwashed. Get out. Everyone get out. I think Hestia's aura of blue here is raising her divinity and preventing the brainwash charm from happening, right? So she's the only one that can basically be normal while everyone is just brainwashed. And that note, when the time shows up, give it to Hermes. Who knows what's in there? Yes, ma'am. So like, Orario has literally all just been taken hostage. Hey, hey, everybody here. Freya said, fuck it, I'm going, I'm, I'm crashing out. She, she literally just crashed out. She said, I know what I'm about to do. I'm not going to apologize. Fuck you. I found the one thing that fulfills me. Charm. What about the other gods and goddesses down here? What are they thinking? What are they, like, they, I mean, if Hermes got charmed, everyone else is going to. They have no consent. They all got defiled. Okay. Bell is at Freya's place, right? What's happening? <laughs> Are we gonna see Seer? I wonder. What face is she gonna have? Where are we? That's not Orario, right? I bet this is gonna be some sort of fucking infinite hallway. <laughs> Master skill. Where's the bathroom? He still says master, bro. This is this Freya dorm? Alright. Oh, we got the nice table. We got the elite table. Gluttony mentioned. Yeah, this is a day-to-day -day life in the Freya family. Welcome to the squad, Bell. Forkvang. What the fuck is that? Is this even Orari? When I look out the window, there's a bunch of greenery that I've never seen on Orari. So, I mean, everyone's acting like this is normal, but are we just like in like a different vacation home? I don't know what the fuck this is, but this is like Freya dormitories. Who knows? Yeah, that's true, that's true. I'm just trying to think, like, are these dudes... They're all... Are they aware? They're all aware. Fellow member. Not yet. They're not converted. Isn't it the same shit of why Ishtar couldn't charm Bell? Mm -hmm. Was Freya? This some fucking bullshit, bro. This, this is the crazy shit where it's like, I feel like I'm in Looney Tune land. Where everyone is so convinced of this. But I know the truth, but I look crazy because everyone else is gaslighting me right now. <laughs> and like, I can't, I truly can't tell if these dudes are just playing the act or if they're also just so brainwashed that they believe this sincerely. It's probably the latter. I think that they, I mean, obviously they've been charmed, but like, only person that really knows the script right now is Hestia and Belle. As I'm aware of. And of course Freya, but Freya's not gonna fucking tell the script. Oh no, this is Orario. No, we're still in Orario. I thought, I thought that we were like in a distant like fucking land in like a vacation house. Nah, every one of them are gonna be like, who are you? You're Freya family. Get out of here, right? Everyone in this place have been brainwashed. They're gonna act as if you were never Hestia family. Yeah, Ryu and Afisa, you know, they got away. Hi. Will they be like, oh, my apologies. You're a Freya family. The cloud. <laughs> also, who the fuck is Mr. Mort? I don't remember Mr. Mort. Maybe this is like really early content. 
Who's watching? Okay. No, 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 no. They know, right? If, 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 because like, clearly these dudes are in on the plan. They're obviously still somewhat brainwashed to like believe in Freya no matter what, but like they know. They fucking know. <laughs> He's like a bully. What a powerful ability. Like, is it God or a goddess allowed to use their powers and abuse it like this? Is that even possible? Well, of course it's possible. We're seeing it happen. But like, there's no moderation. There's no like union or a group of people that like prevents gods and goddesses from fucking crashing out and doing this shit? This is insane. There's no fucking god goddess police? Who's gonna stop Freya? Nobody. They're all fucking brainwashed. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yield girl. She's also glazing Belle too a lot. She was thirsting for him so, so hard. But she doesn't even know who Belle is because this is better for Freya. They don't even fuck. All the girls that thirsted don't even know who he is anymore. Damn. The gaslighting goes to the next dimension. All the girls that fell for him. He's like, yep, all them hoes, they don't know anymore. Bruh. It's crazy. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland <laughs> shit, truly, yeah. <laughs> but you are to them, man. They're so scared of him. All of it. But like, I expect Hestia to be not brainwashed. Her divinity. I saw the blue aura. I'm sure she made it out, but like, every one of these dudes. Oh, this is gonna be sad. This is gonna be so fucking sad. They're, are they gonna act like they don't know who Belle is? Are they gonna be like, go away, Freya family? Oh no. There's a very particular way that Fre Hestia is looking. He's looking down. Oh, everyone is making some content face. Which makes me think that if Hestia right now also plays dumb, She's acting and she's faking it to be part of the plan or something. There's something very odd here going on. No, Elf. Bro, not like this. How do you mean not like that? Hestia! Nah, the acting skill's pretty bad. Nah, Hestia. And Ota, Ota, you're not big. Bro. They need to send someone other than Otan. He's too fucking big to be fucking discreet. Bro, come on. You, you're sticking out like a sore fucking thumb. This is way too fucking obvious. Of course, Hestia is acting the part to not get in trouble. <laughs> Bro, come on. You're... <laughs> Your pecs are too fucking big. Your man titties are poking out too much, bro. Send... You should have sent fucking the kids, man. He is not for espionage. Yeah, yeah, she knows. She knows. Nah, this is fine. It's fine. All of, it sucks for Belle, but I just want to confirm. Is Hestia charmed or not? She's not. She's making sure that she's acting the role that she needs to play while under surveillance. And when the time comes, deliver the letter to Hermes. Asfi and Ryu are also around. It's gonna be fine. Sad though, man. Tragic. It's the only way you can save him, man. Damn, bro. This arc just keeps getting better and better. And I'm sorry, guys. Like, I think that this might be my favorite season so far. Like, the dungeon fighting, the battling. Yeah, the action design. But, like, the shit happening outside of the dungeon. This is really, really fascinating. Especially because Freya is finally coming out to play. Freya said, fuck this. I'm tired of role-playing. I'm done pretending. I'm gonna take what's mine with brute force. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Conversion? One year? Six months? You know, cooldown? Alright. Fuck you. 
I'll just proactively handle this such that everyone in this world just believes that Belle is Freya's family. But like, what does Freya really expect? Is she expecting that if she just isolates Belle, that Belle will have nothing better to do and just accept his role as Freya's, you know, pet? That's a very sad love. Will Freya ever be fulfilled by this kind of relationship? I feel like the way that, you know, Freya was approaching Belle through Seer was very earnest and honest, kind of, not really, but she wasn't, yes, she was manipulating and she was, you know, she was, it was all artificial, but at the end of the day, if that panned out, it's better than this, like, almost slave master relationship. I, I don't know, maybe she's so twisted that she doesn't care about, you know, the partner in a relationship, you know, standing on equal footing, but rather she just wants a power dynamic where Belle can't do anything and basically... She, she, just, she doesn't care. She cares about Belle's purity the most. And Hestia is very interesting. There's a lot of dialogue here with Hermes saying like, you are the only one that can do this. You need to raise your divinity. Frey also talks about Hestia's like flames, the passion of her hearth, right? Something about that can counter Freya, it seems like. And I'm sure it's all gonna pay off. But how can we get out of this? Belle's alone. Hestia's alone, Ryu and Asuki somewhere else, and Hermes, when is the appropriate time to approach him? I got it. That's it from me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction though, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content, and I'll next time. Take care.